It looks like a dragon or something. It has that bigger dorsal fin. Whoa. We are not going to Area 51. Yes, we are. Area 51 is keeping all the Asian arowanas. So, Joe, what's it like? What's what like? Come on, man. What's it like? Well, mice been good. Fish have been good, the pond's been good. How's it been for you? Not too bad. You bringing a lot of girls over to see your pond? Eh. What do you mean? Joe, a guy like you with a well, pond like this? Well, I've learned one thing. Is that all girls, they love more fish. All right, guys, what's up? We're here with Joe, George, George, two Georges, and Austin. And we're going to, um, where are we going today? Pleco Paradise. We're going to uh, Pleco Paradise to pick him up some new fish, hopefully some koi, and I know you, I know you said you wanted a catfish. What's going on, guys? Yeah, like, man, I like remember you. I love the shirt, dude. We built a pond for him like three <laughs> weeks ago, and we're doing an update. Nice, and So we man. wanted to get him some fish. Awesome. Yeah, let's do it. We have some nice fish down there. There's a lot of fish you can choose from. Okay. Let's go cool. take a look. So I'm Gino Danella, and this is Pleco Paradise. We just took a look around. This place is, is pretty crazy. What do you what do you think is cool? What are you interested in? I like some catfish. Of course. Nobody likes catfish. Catfish? Okay, catfish. What are these fish over here? Those are peppermint pikes in this tank. These guys here are full grown adults. They're about five inches. They're not gonna get any bigger than that. When you come here, you're not gonna see the average fish that you see in every single pet shop across the United States. These yellow ones are beautiful. Whoa. Yeah, they're fantastic, aren't they? Yeah. Absolutely beautiful. These are gold nuggets. This is L177. Is yeah, that those big fat spots, nice trim on their fins. What's the minimum size tank you need for one of those and how much are they? I'd say at least a 55 or 60 gallon tank. Oh wow. These guys are 45 bucks. These are wild caught cardinal tetras. These guys were swimming in their Amazon River two weeks ago. They glow, they glow naturally. If I turn the light off, they're still gonna shine like that. So this is a really beautiful fish. So a lot of Pleco fans are familiar with the uh, L260 Queen Arabesque. This is basically the same fish, but this is 262, and instead of a, a thin line, they have little tiny white spots. Is there a reason there's a fork in there? Yes, there is a reason why there's a fork in my tank. They love eating cucumbers, so you stick a big fat piece of cucumber to a fork, and that's how it sinks. Otherwise, it's just gonna float the whole time, you know? What's the most expensive thing you have here? Um, let's go over here, I'll show you. The most expensive fish I have right now is this Super Red L25. He's worth 350 bucks. And I just got him on Thursday from Brazil. What about the piranhas? Big piranha guy. Are they dangerous? Yeah, they're super dangerous, man. <laughs> These fish are crazy. I got bit by one. I kind of wish I got bit by one yesterday so I could show you, but this was like two months ago. They bit me through a, a triple bag in a plastic liner. What? All right, so this is the Sarasalmus spilopera. It's a really rare piranha. You, you don't see them all the time. A common name for it would be like yellow belly. I know about the black piranhas are They're like so yeah. most aggressive. I think they are. That's the one I got bit by through the three bags. These are both black piranhas in, in these tanks here. Yeah. And they are really aggressive. How much does that sell for? 125 bucks, 100 bucks. It's not, they're not too bad. If you were to search these online and look for what they sold for in the past, you're looking at 300, 350, 400 bucks. I'll just order them off the dark web. Dude, what are these? These are alligator gar. The top dwelling fish hangs out of the top. These things get gigantic. They'll easily get four or five feet. These are wild caught discus. What's the difference between a wild caught and a... There's like, a big difference between wild caught discus and domestically bred discus. When you see a lot of domestic discus, they're super colorful. They're red and purple and pink and blue and yellow and orange. Taste the rainbow. And not that these guys aren't super colorful or beautiful, but they just they just look a lot different. So over here are the redhead tapajos. This is probably one of the more popular geophagus in the hobby today because I mean, look at them. They have these red heads, got these blue shimmer in their fins white, yellow in their bodies. Oh, these are wild caught. These were swimming in the Amazon River last week. I just got these guys on Thursday. 
You see them. You see them often. You, you won't really. Why do you call them queen? The queener because they need to be treated like a queen. Cannot disappoint these fish. Okay. <laughs> I'm experiencing a little bit of this. How do you deal with the humidity in here? Because air exchangers, you want to pull the moisture out of the air before it rises up to your attic and collects and gives you black mold that will kill your whole family. That escalated quickly. In here right now, running about 60 tanks. I'd have to count them honestly, but it's about 60 tanks. It was a hobby for a long time. You kind of go overboard. You set up one tank, a small tank, you try it out, you fall in love with it. I know Gino because he sets up a booth every year at Aqua Sheller. We got the Aqua Shell poster in the background. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, if you guys want to see a lot of the crazy exotic freshwater fish that he has, make sure to come to Aqua Shell Chicago, September 28th and 29th. I'm going to bring some awesome stuff. I'm going to keep it a secret. You'll see when you get there. Hey, throw it up. <laughs> Gino, what are these little orange ones? Those are super reds. Super red bristle nose. Adorable. I'll give you one. <laughs> Take one. <laughs> This super red hair here, this is a this is Czech strain. Wow. You have German, you have Czech, and then of course you have some you know US created lines as well. Really pretty fish. Really deep, really deep orange, almost red. Oh <laughs> that's that, what happens, man. Is that a gold nugget? No, that's a sunshine. That's an L14 sunshine. Why do they all have names like they're guns? Um, okay, so the, all plecos, all sucker fish come from the lower Cardae family. Starts with an L. That's the family of catfish that all sucker are in. It looks like a dragon or something. Can you see his eyes? Oh, yeah. That's the king of the tank right there. Dude, man. his eyes are like. Yeah. He that's looks the, mean. That's the king of the tank. Wait, hold on, dude. You, you realize you're holding a fish right now. Oh, yeah, yeah. Wait, that's a common pleco? This is a gibbicep, so it is a little bit different than the common pleco. It has that bigger dorsal fin, and its pattern is a little bit different, too. A lot of like worm lines in there. Can I touch it? I don't know. Can you? I don't know, can you? Marks? Do the teachers in school still do that thing where you're like, yo, can I go to the bathroom? And they're like, can you? I don't know, can you? I just did that. <laughs> I know, that's what, <laughs> that's what We are not going to Area 51. Yes, we are. Area 51 is keeping all the Asian arowanas. <laughs> this is conspiracy theories with Joe. T -t -t Today, Junior! So all the fish I grabbed for you, I put them in this tank together. A couple uh, butterfly koi, a couple standard fin koi. Wow. That's a spotted tiger shovel nose right there. You don't have to feed them five times a day or three times a day. You can slow down his growth by feeding them once a day or once every couple days. Are they gonna get as big as the ones that are out fish rescue? Yeah, definitely. That's how big koi get. Um, you can see by their fins that these guys have long fins. Those are called butterfly koi. Thank, Thank you, you for, for all the business. fish. Can you even pick up all your fish, dude? I don't know where to grab. I don't want to drop them. I don't want to drop them. Dude, he can't even carry. Yeah, okay, hold on. He can't I'm even sorry. carry this fish out of here. <laughs> where can I contact you at? All right, you guys can contact me at uh, Facebook Pleco Paradise LLC, Instagram Pleco Paradise LLC. Gino, thank you. Oh, you're welcome, brother. Thanks yeah, for coming over. This is man. awesome. Yeah. What do you think, man? He has a pretty nice place. Can you give me your best thumbnail pose. You got a big uh, box of loot here. What'd you get? Well, right here I have a pleco. This is a common pleco. He is going in the pond. Two butterfly koi fish and and two normals. I have a shovel nose catfish that's going in the pond. This guy's a rosy red pleco, I think. He's going in my personal tanks. You know what time it is, right? Time for acclamation. Acclamation. So this is a shovel nose catfish. I'm releasing right now. There he goes. So guys, George is grabbing the common pleco. Now he's an algae eater, and they get up to about three feet. Okay. And then these are your new koi. You got four yep. of them. There they go. There's two. Here goes There's a butterfly. Three. And there's four. That one's beautiful. Another really big thanks to Gino from Pleco Paradise. This makes the pond look sick, and this will be a nice hangout for me and my mom and my brother. All right, guys, that was incredible. That was fun. That was cool. Cool yep. fish for me, Ed. So, if you guys are interested, make sure to check out Gino at Pleco Paradise. He's going to be at Aqua Shell. You're coming, right? Yep. So, Chicago, September 28th and 29th. I'll be there, and hopefully, I'll see you guys there. But until then, remember to keep those nitrates low. And phosphates. True. George, oh. out.
I just want to say thanks. Follow me on YouTube, Joe the Fish Guy, and Instagram, PlayerMoJ12. We'll see you at Area 51 for the alien rape. <laughs>